Hello everyone and welcome to the new video. I've tried to up my audio so I hope it sounds significantly louder on my voice side because a lot of the comments that you guys have been giving me is that my voice in the gameplay videos is a little bit low. So I hope that improves for you guys and today's video uh, as well as being on the M1 Abrams which I just got pulled a million silver lions out of a crate uh, just two days ago I believe. But we're going to be talking about the leaks that have been kind of called out. And I got myself a list of some of the vehicles that were in that leak and that could be coming in our next major update, 2.14, I believe. I'm going to put that image up here. I'm going to kind of take out the name names of people that were in that image, as I don't know like exactly whether that should be public exactly. Maybe it already is, but I'm going to play it safe. And just going to show you the vehicles that were kind of on that with the game. So I'm thinking they've implemented something else. And I'm thinking like maybe a break in anti-air systems, right? Like the radars not being able to catch on because it is an American squadron vehicle. So are they going to make it so that the Pantsier radar like has a hard time with it or something? That goes down. Are they going to do that? That would be really overpowered. I hope they do something like it. Uh, turning on thermals for the... No, nah, no thermals. No thermals for this. Okay, we are going to be looking for that guy. Oh, he... I'm going to aim smoked up. I'm guessing... Oh, crap. Uh, we seem to have lost... Lost A. Oh, I thought I heard a guy. Thank you for being 100% blind. I kind of sucked that, personally. <sighs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I got that guy's sound, right? Uh. Muppard! Oh, but that was a not good peek at all. Oh, okay. But if these guys keep giving me shots, I'll take them. Where are you? Come out, come out. Got him. Oh, pilot sniped him. Dang, that is absolutely tragic for that guy. See ya. Unless he does something miraculous. Oh, he did. Oh, that was on. <sighs> oh, yes, the F4F. Oh, he came for me. Oh, he came for me directly. Or SU. Yeah, it looks like an SU. Oh! We just hit that guy. How do you like APFSD, sir? The M1 gameplay is fun for you guys right now. Ah, uh, it's really gonna be a lot of Abrams and stuff because this thing's heat shell is kind of painful. While I may have posted a video on the stock grind, that meant two parts, not exactly. Oh, we got a track on that guy. That's where he's. And he's dead. There's a guy right here, apparently. Who is missing a cannon barrel and three. Oh, crap. I killed one guy's breach and barrel. I'm gonna go around. No, I have to ray. He is looking at me. He's done. Destroyed. 
Got that guy out of the scout. Using thermals. Now we're gonna get a bit of a flank in, hopefully. Run the run the side. He's getting shot at by METs who are now focused. As we kind of got our cheeks clapped by the superior. He's dead. Lord. He did not deal well with that. Oh my gosh, Heschel. So we're back in the Edwin Abrams for the final time of the video. It has been extremely fun playing this vehicle. Uh, or the other ones, I guess. This one, it's been fine. Uh, it is an Abrams, so the church sheets are fairly thick. But unfortunately, heat just doesn't measure up in the top tier lineup. And while it does take out tracks and have a crazy angle pen, it kind of sucks with literally everything else. Oh, okay. <laughs> that looked kind of funny. It had like a light tank with a diamond on it. Okay, so... This is a bit... Oh, I didn't realize I'm taking like a really iffy push right here. Like extremely iffy. Because there's going to be a guy with thermals against me. This fog is, uh... Crap. Perfect shot, almost. And we're dead most likely. Nope, can't reach. There goes the smoke, telling me that my damage indicator did not lie. Uh, apparently it's a line to people. Mine is fairly accurate, I would think. Because it really hasn't ever been wrong. That sound doesn't bode well, but we are going to go straight in for this guy. I believe getting him out of the way may be vital. T80 BVM down. Uh, I hear a guy. Hey, Blooms! Ah, oh, the big one got him. Well, this is an M1A1 aim. It should be the upgraded version of the M1. So, and even the M1A1 aim or the M1A1. This has a little bit better thermals. Oh. What? Apparently, there's an enemy in here. I don't see any. That's really bad. Okay, that's that's where it was. Dead milkers. Oh, we punched through the um The seal between the crew and the Oh that was mean of me. Twist twenty-five M. Not the best vehicle. Oh that can go up. Okay. Dang, they're all blowing up. Not exactly ideal. I hear smoke going on. Well, I think the only vehicle I play kind of right in War Thunder sense is probably this and the Abrams because I've just played it so much I realize it is like kind of weak compared to others. Uh, the instant I can drive, I'm backing out of here because that missile is coming straight for me. Ho ho! Dodging missiles for breakfast. That is not good for me. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you all have enjoyed uh, all the videos I made. Uh, this one especially. Because if you watched the end, uh, please leave us a uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have watched all the way to the end, uh, I certainly think that you probably kind of enjoy my content. And subscribing is always 100% free. Uh, it doesn't really give me anything from what I can see, except for, of course, monetization in future. So pretty much just clap that button to support me. And I hope you guys have all enjoyed the M1 Abrams and are looking forward to the F117 as much as I. Thank you.